So you're probably thinking this is the most boring talk you'll have heard in this entire lightning session. Um, just a bit of background while Ben's setting this up. We are a team of 12 who've been doing first aid over the weekend. And we're all people who would have been at EMF anyway, but we've spent some of our time over in the tent there. And one of the things any of you who are first aiders will know is the bane of our lives is pieces of paper. Because if you've got someone who's ill, you've got a massive piece of paper and a pen, and you're trying to navigate that at the same time as everything else you're trying to do, it's a bit of a nightmare. So Ben decided, Have when he was any? setting up all of this, that he wanted to find a different way to do it. Can we see it? We're going to have a bit of a demo, which hopefully you can see on the screen there. Uh, that's my tabard. Hey! But it's backwards, of course. We good? There. There you go. <laughs> OK, so have I got a mic? Yeah. Hello. Excellent. So like a lot of people, um, Someone turned around to me on uh, IRC and said, quick, everyone should go to Curry's because they're selling nooks off cheap for 30 quid. So everyone goes away and buys them and then does nothing with them, leaving them in their desk drawers, including me. Um, so we had a bit of an idea that we should probably use this to do all our patient report forms on because we didn't want to carry around lots of big bits of paper. Um, if anyone's ever used uh, a St. John's report form or seen the London Ambulance report forms, uh, they're quite nasty um, and quite verbose and come in triplicate and get wet and horrible and then they get thrown away when you hand them over to an ambulance because they don't want them anyway. Um, so we thought, why not use a Nook because the battery lasts forever um, and you can use them while wearing gloves or even if people throw up on them. Um, so, you know, because they're, they're, they're not resistive at all. Um, they use uh, infrared, as I believe. So what I'm going to do is do a quick little demo uh, with this, even though it's upside down, which I forgot about. Sorry. Um, yeah. So Katie is going to be my glamorous patient. Hello. Hello. Hello, first aid. I've, uh, I've hurt myself. I was over at Nattinghack uh, Village, and the bar bot went crazy and stabbed me with a cocktail umbrella. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> and I've cut my finger. <laughs> OK. <laughs> so, I'll, I'll <laughs> so I'll switch over from the map, which I don't really need. Um, okay. Back up. So you've been stabbed, have you? Um, by the yeah, barbot. By a cocktail umbrella. By the cocktail. Well, I'll need the full PRF for that one then. Let's turn this around. I'll do this backwards. Right. We've, so this is what we have. It's basically... Let's see. We'll... I won't fill it all in because that'll be really awkward. But we've got... The first bit at the top, which is basically the instant bit. So let's see. Uh, what's where did, your where name? Did it happened. Nottingham Hackspace Village. Nottingham Hackspace Village. <laughs> um, I won't fill it in because this is backwards. Uh, family name. Uh, let's see. Let's put your full name in. Okay. <laughs> Can anyone see it? Is it this all there? This is a triumph of upside down typing. Yeah, this is probably not going to work, so I'll just skip on. <laughs> so, what was the problem? So, you've been stabbed. Do you have capacity and consent? I've had 10 rum sours from the barbot. Okay. <laughs> but, but, I want Are you responding it. to voice? Yes, yes, I'm definitely conscious. Okay, that's good. Just. <laughs> um, oh, what have I pressed? <laughs> this is really not going very well, is it? We should, we, should, we should have thought this through. The form's oh, working fine. It's the computer that's failing us here. Yep. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Has it been delayed? Yes. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> 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 it's, it's worth saying. Hold that, on. It's worth saying that this. We've been running this system over the whole weekend, and this is the first time anything has gone wrong with it. It um, is. Apart from a really weird bug that we had at the beginning, which was that from minor injury, it, it came up saying the patient had lost consciousness. So we had to correct that because we didn't really have anybody losing consciousness and, and when they'd cut their finger. Okay. All right, that's a little bit better. Okay, so essentially, yeah, you've got that, which, is, we've, which we filled in. So are you on any medications or do you have any known allergies? Um, I've, I've had 10 rum sours, but nothing else. Okay. So you can sort of, you do this lovely blurring thing when you scroll across the top. It's kind of bizarre to, to see. Um, okay. Uh, you can fill in bits to so the head and face, the arm, the legs or whatever, actually put in extra details. 
Uh, whereabouts did, did, did the barbot stab you? <laughs> On my finger. On your finger. Yeah. Okay. So you can fill that, fill that bit in. Um, moving along. Observations is an interesting one. Should we take your blood pressure? Do you think we need to do that? I may have lost a lot of fluid. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. So we can start filling in things like, uh, do we give them any oxygen? Is it painful? Responses? Things like that. And we can keep doing that over time. Aha, treatment. So what should we do? Plaster? I think that'll do it. Fair enough. Can I have another rum sour as well? Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is the form that you really don't want to have to use. Because uh, this is the bit that talks about resuscitation. Uh, and also the ambulance bit. So we can sort of fill in the call side of the ambulance when they arrived and when they disappeared. It's worth saying, though, that we haven't used either of those this weekend. You've been remarkably safe. Yes. Which probably isn't what you wanted there. Yeah. It's always been very safe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're on shift until tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we can, we can add notes, and then the, the final bit, you know, the outcome. Um, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Be denied. Um, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think you're probably walking aided. Yeah, thanks. I'm off back to Notting Hack Village. Uh oh. <laughs> and then the last bit, which I quite like, is effectively we have to sign it. So you've got a, uh, a little black box here that you can sort of put a big signature in. <laughs> I'm just going to put an, put an X. Um, the thing about this that we like the most, though, is because. Most of the time, you don't need a full patient report form. Um, so what we wanted to do is sort of get the uh, computer to do it for us, if we can. Um, so I'm just going to not bother with that one. And we've got this option here called minor wound rest. So this is the majority of what we have to deal with. So it fills in things. So the location, first aid point. Um, it was a self-referral. And other bits get filled in in the treatment bit. We actually have a, uh, a special version yeah. that we made to uh, today. Hello. First aid. I've got a problem. Have you got a prob problem? Yeah, my badge isn't working. Oh, right. <laughs> well, good job yeah. we have a fix for that. We'll, uh, we'll start a patient report form right do, away. Do you have badge first aid? We do. The screen's so, got blank. The screen's got blank, okay. What's wrong with it. All right. So, EMF badge first aid. Okay. <laughs> Tilde Mark 2, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Call to scene. <laughs> Primary survey. Unresponsive. Appears drunk and crashes. Does it have capacity? <laughs> no. Is it alert to... What was that one? Is it alert to... Uh, is it responsive? No. <laughs> okay. What should we do for it, do you think? <laughs> Medical history. Constant lipo drip. <laughs> Allergic to data transfer. Oh, okay. Fair <laughs> enough. Uh, secondary survey, nothing there. Observations. Oh, yeah, treatment, I think, probably. Yeah, what can you do for it? What can we do for it? Uh, put it in the recovery position and use a USB drip. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much. I think it'll recover. Excellent. Maybe Thank next you. year. That has actually happened. We've been uh, basically doing first aid for people and badges today, <laughs> which is uh, the honest truth. Um, and then at the end of it, what we basically do is we, we, we sign it off, um, as I showed before. And then at the end, what happens is we effectively encrypt it on the device, uh, if you press yes. And what that does is it will encrypt it on here, and then we just uh, effectively take it off manually. We haven't connected these to the, uh, the Wi-Fi yet, but it turns out that at other festivals like Reading and Glastonbury, they also have uh, internet as well as uh, here at EMF, except, well, it's not really internet, it's their own personal uh, Wi-Fi for medical. So we designed these to be used in a field where you've got nothing um, and, you know, no power, no internet, or anything. But actually, it might be, there's a lot more work to be done on this, but we might actually do it so that we can have them all sent off to somewhere secure and be reviewed later. Mm -hmm. um, so we've had a lot of really good feedback. Uh, all the source code is on GitHub, so if anyone has any suggestions on how we can improve it, and we've already had a few, um, then, yeah, mm -hmm. take a look and let us know. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thanks, guys. Any questions? Got one. Down the front. Oh, what's it written in? It's Android, actually. 2.3.3, I think, is the uh, the version on the Nook. Yeah. Hello. Uh, yes. Also on the front. Did you have to root the Nook, or can you just 
Um, we did in this case, um, but I think you can probably get away with it, to be honest. Um, but yeah, we did root them, yeah. Any more? No? Oh, one more. Two more. Go. Um, <laughs> this is a problem because there's no way that there are certain, how should I say, organizations that would never use them. Um, <laughs> EMF is probably the only one, so I think we'll probably be ending up using it at EMF 2016, I suspect, sadly. You never know. We might Ooh, that, I, I would love to do that. That would be amazing. I, I will do that. Thank you. <laughs> well, it's funny because um, the... I think people like St. John's haven't really said that much, but um, a few people from the NHS actually popped up on my Facebook page and said, so why are you writing this for? And uh, I sort of looked at them and said, oh, um, it's just for a festival that we're doing. So who knows, really, I guess. It needs a fair bit of work, though, before that, I think. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.